Welcome back to the channel for my fi final gear video. And um, I think I've been forgetting to say it, so I will remind, I'll do it now so I don't forget. There is a link in the description of the video down below called, it's a link tree, that'll take you to a page where you can find all the links to my social media, as well as my uh, link to lighterpack.com, which has this gear list, um, everything detailed out, links to the products, and also the actual weight of what I'm gonna be carrying um, not just what's listed on the website. So you can get an accurate idea of how much all my gear weighs uh, for this hike. So, starting off with something that doesn't count against your base weight, your worn clothes. This is the Jolly Gear Trail Magic Sun Hoodie. It's SPF 50, has a hood, has a collar, roll up sleeves, button down, everything that you'd need to adjust for hot and cold conditions and blocking out the sun and an amazing bright pattern that looks super cool and will hopefully help keep um, the bugs away. Um, dark colors get warm quicker and that's what attracts black flies and horse flies and so hopefully this will help prevent that. Hiking shorts, I've got the ramen bomb hiking shorts, my boxer briefs, and then again keeping on the theme of light bright colors, I've got a new hat that has a white back to help prevent um, attracting more flies and I had to go with the psychedelic gators again because I mean it just works it just works uh, gonna be wearing I've got six pair of these total they're in Gingy Midweight crew trail socks so these are toe socks uh, I only wear these most people wear it in Gingy liners with a darn tough sock on the outside I find that that doesn't work for me, and so my solution is to just wear those socks and they work great. Um, and I rotate them out every day. Here I've got a pair of Black Diamond Touch Gloves and a Melanzana uh, Hard Face Beanie for when it gets real cold. I'm also going to bring these leggings, these are the Under Armour 3.0s. I've carried the 4.0s on previous hikes and they're just like too bulky, too hot. Uh, kind of restrictive when you hike in them. They just wear you down because it's hard to move. So I'm really looking forward to how these perform. I am not bringing a Melody to the PCT. Instead, I've decided to go with this. This is a Thuya Hellbrook uh, hoodie, and it is amazing. Uh, they have, they're out of Vermont, and it's very, very similar to Melanzana, but in my opinion, better. Um, the you know, fluffy stuff is on the inside where you'd want to be warm. Anyway, this is their light version, which is going to help with packing down and saving space because other, you know, mid layers like this don't really do that. One of the things that I like about it, you can see I'm holding the pocket open. Instead of having a kangaroo pocket across the front, it's got these two little side pockets. And those are a lot better because I'm usually wearing a fanny pack. So if I've got a kangaroo pocket, I can't use it with a fanny pack on. This will, you know, I'm gonna have all the options that I need. Um, and then here is, so it's going back from the gloves over to here, this is all stuff that I'm gonna be carrying in the pack. So this does count against my base weight. So I've got the backup socks here. I've got a pair of darn tufts. And then in this stuff sack is my Arcteryx uh, puffer. So this is a hooded down jacket that will be a great combination with the rain jacket to um, on very cold days keep dry and warm and um, keep all the heat in. So the other thing I keep forgetting to say is if you have any questions or comments please drop a comment down below and I would love to hear what your thoughts are, how you think do things different. If you have any questions about the gear that I've got I'm more than happy to answer that and um, you know let's uh, let's have a conversation and see what works out for everybody 